crochet queens! My name's Louise from Redhead Amazona and today I'm going to show you how to make the little Russian cloche hat that is so famous everywhere at the moment. Everybody seems to want one. I figured out how to do the body of the hat so I'll take you, lead you through how to make the body of the hat which in that nice spiral effect there and then Vicky from the blog Off The Hook, wonderful lady, she's actually figured out a brim that sorts out all those wibbly wobbly issues that we've, that seem to pop up for some people. Um, she's got a lovely little version of the brim and she has also a video which you can click on after this, after the parts of these videos and then follow her instructions to complete your brim. Alright, what you will need is some cotton. The original pattern uses mercerized cotton which is a lovely shiny cotton it is not very available in Australia or the United Kingdom the brand that was used in the original um, hat created by the Russian lady is uh, what is it yarn art begonia it's a four ply it's really nice and shiny but for today because in Australia it's ridiculously expensive and hard to get a hold of I'm just using this basic cotton blend in an 8 ply although a 4 ply is more ideal what you will also need is a 2.5 mil hook so you probably can't see the little 2.5 mil written on there that's for the body of the hat and you will also need a thinner 2 millimeter hook there's the two of them together alright let's get started okay guys so now we're going to start with our um, cloche hat. I've got my little ball of yarn right here. You will need about two balls. You won't use the complete two balls but you will need two. So what we'll do is we'll start off. Most people like to start using a magic ring. I'm actually just going to do the normal because I'm not, I'm not tricky enough to do the magic ring yet. I just haven't sat down and bothered to teach myself to be honest. Um, and so we'll start by chaining five. four, five, there we go and then we'll join back into the first stitch slip stitch back into that first chain rather is probably the better way to put it and then we'll chain three I'll try and sort of keep it in focus for you and now that chain three is going to form our first double, our first double crochet. Now, because um, to do a standard hat for a four to six year old, we do need sixteen double crochets around the ring, or sixteen. It'll turn into the sixteen spirals. So this one starts the first one. Now we need fifteen more deep double crochets, which we'll skip around. Whoops. I'll try not to make my table's got an awful wobble. I've got to try not to let it wobble. It's very annoying. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, a little annoying tail. And I think you'll find too that the cotton blend yarn, as nice as it is, it can kind of be a bit splitty, which is quite annoying. And that funny sound, if you can hear that in the background, that's my ducted heating coming on because it's a bit cold down here in kangaroo land in autumn. Well, cold is, compar is not comparing to, say, places like Canada and the UK where you guys sort of freeze your bits off. Oh, come on, little fella. We'll get all the way around here. Now, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, unlucky for some, 14, 15, so 15 double crochets into the centre, sorry for using American terms for all you Aussie and um, UK people who use the original one. Um, what we then do now is we go to that top third chain of the first chain three, slip stitch in and join, and now you've got your first little circle. Check it out. Yee, hello, I'm your first little circle. Now what we're going to do to start the next row is chain three again. Like that. This is where those super fun things called front post double crochets come into effect. The way they work is... So we chain three and then we chain one. The front post double crochets, if you haven't done them before, is you stick your little hook in there, like you were, yeah, you just stick it in the gap. And then, see how there's this post of this DC? You actually bring the hook back through, yarn over, pull it through like that, and then you've got your three threads on, yarn over again like you're doing a normal double crochet and then you yarn over again through two so you've got like oh sorry focus so you've got a double crochet but it's coming around this post front post double crochet then we chain one and then we front post double crochet into the next double crochet stitch of the previous round just move my arms down a bit because it's getting a little bit higher there Right, let's go and single stitch, or yeah, chain, sorry, and we just go all the way around like that. How are you going? Are you working with me here furiously? It's fun. Hope you've got a cup of tea. I did have a coffee that I made myself, but I drank it because I'm a coffee fiend. Here we are, all the way around. Here we go. We've only got two left. Whoopsie. Chain. Last little sucker hiding in there. Now chain one and you've got your first chain three and you've got your chain one so get the top of the chain three stick your hook in and just do a just slip stitch it in there we go that's what it looks like like a little a wheel you look at the back it looks like a belly button <laughs> or a funny hat or an umpa lumpa. okay now we're going to chain three again Da -da, da -da, da -da. and here comes the fun part okay now we're up to the next stage we have done our first chain three of row of the third row now what we're going to do is actually in the same chain three we're going to do a front post double crochet around like that yarn over back out da -da. Okay, so I ta would too early. Hang on. And then, see like that? It's, we've got this funny little thing happening. Then we chain one. And in the top of the next front post double crochet of the previous round, this little guy here, we'll do a normal double crochet into the top. Like that. And then around the same stitch we're going to front post double crochet so we're doing in the pre one FPDC of the previous round you will do a normal double crochet and a front post double crochet to create this little thing this little cluster which is probably not the best term to use because we usually use clusters for another thing then we'll chain one so next Whoopsie, double crochet, and then we will front post double crochet in the same one, 
I don't know if you can hear my budgie Axel in the background talking away in the laundry. Just like his mummery doesn't shut up. And then a chain one. And we'll keep doing this into every FPDC of the previous row all the way around. So what you'll end up with is 16 double crochets. 16, well, one of them will be a chain three, but 16 double crochets, 16 front post double crochets, and a chain between each little grouping of those two to give them a little bit of space. Oh, cod swallop. I tried to do two double crochets. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was a mistake I did. Whoopsie, don't make the same mistake. See, I'm I'm fallible. I make mistakes. Here we go. Okay, I took a, I sort of cut a bit out there so you didn't have to watch me go all the way around the wheel because that's just boring. So now we're coming to the end of this little row. Row three. We're do, double crocheting in front post double crochet doing a chain and now we're in the last spoke right. oh come back here we go all right chain one and once again in the top of the beginning chain three we do a little slip stitch in like that then we chain three, two, three, and now um, what we're doing is we're not we're going to add, make put a bit of space between the double crochets and the front post double crochets by doing like an extra chain. So I just I don't know if you noticed I just did another chain there. So it's like I've got chain four, but really it's a fake chain, a fake double crochet and a chain one and then we will do a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet of the previous row and then chain one double crochet into the top of the double crochet of the previous row see it sort of sits back a little bit and then we do a chain and then another, and then a front post double crochet in, gosh, this is a bit of a tongue twister. My mouth is getting sore. And then a, so we're basically going to double crochet in each of the double crochets around and front post double crochet in each of the previous rows double crochets around. But in between each of these stitches, we're going to do a chain space. So previously they were together. Now they're separated by a chain. A single chain and we'll do that around so I'm going DC chain FPDC front post double crochet chain DC all the way around so same stitches as before but just a chain in between each of the double crochets and the front post double crochets and because of the glories of YouTube if you need to go backwards because you want to look at it again you can do that and you get to listen to my annoying voice all over again if you want to go forwards because you're bored you can do that as well don't you love technology now my delightful little crochet queens we're nearly at the end of row four <clears throat> and this is when as we get up into row five, we start to see those fun little spirals really take shape. I'm just finishing the last of the stitches here. Chain one and then joining to, remember this is four chains, but really um, the first three form the a double crochet. We'll join into the third stitch, the third chain, sorry, in a slip stitch. Now we've got our nice little wagon wheelie circle and we'll chain three this is our first DC again we're just going to do a double crochet again into the top of the chain three of the previous row so like the base of this next chain three 
and this is going to start forming our little, I don't know, spirally bits. So then we'll chain one, whoopsie, here we go. And then we'll do a front post double crochet once again into the front post double crochet of the previous row. And then we'll chain one. And then in each of the double crochets of the previous row around, we are going to do two, two. So that's a piece two, not a root two. Um, two double crochets into the top of each of those previous DCs. So we've got one, two. See that? Then another chain and a front post double crochet. I hope you can see that all right. It's really awkward crocheting around a camera sitting on a jar of moisturizer because we're so high tech here. <laughs> Alrighty, so once again two double crochets. Oh, come here you tricky little sucker. Two double crochets in and chain one and then front post double crochet in the previous front post double crochet. And thanks to the glories of technology, you don't have to sit and watch me do this slowly all the way around. Because I'll do one of those little cut to the next scene. Beep, 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 beep.